guys uh, got an iPhone so I could play Pokemon Go, but that means that I can use Wi-Fi and start making video logs again and making them, <laughs> and making them even better than um, I was before. So instead of using the laptop camera, you guys are going to get HD quality iPhone videos and they're going to start coming up more regularly. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, right now I'm trying on the lobby. Um, I didn't ask you guys um, if you wanted to be on film or not ahead of time. So I'm just going to say, like, chilling out with, like, Spencer and Amir. Uh, earlier we were chilling with Trina. And who, who's the really cool guy who owns the piano? Guire. And Guire. Um, and that was really cool. Uh, there was another guy who was playing the piano. I should learn more people's names. And um, who is your friend who will bring you food at six? Akshay. And Akshay. Yeah. So it was really fun. Uh, we were like listening to music, uh, trying to guess like who the artist was and like the title of the song. Uh, we played piano for a bit, talked about uh, Pokemon Go and the mystery of whether or not Amir actually plays it. But yeah, um, had a lot of fun, met a lot of new people, and now it's time to hit the hay. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably talk about the Infernus Flame situation. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, then booyah, you'll get to know what that is tomorrow. Um, probably talk about my progress in Pokemon Go so far, since you guys haven't got any updates. I may just update you on like everything that's happened since like last semester. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. So stay tuned for more content. Hey guys, long time no see. This is Nika Benson, aka Jet Black. And right now I'm hanging out in my speech class. Um, it hasn't started up. I normally get to class rather early. Um, I normally use the projector, watch YouTube videos, and also do research. And I recently got a Superman guidebook, which is like a comic book encyclopedia that I've been reading. It's been pretty cool. Um, but yeah, today uh, one of my friends is going to give a speech, so that's going to be really cool. And other than that, I think it's more or less a workshop day. It should be really easy. Um, then later on today, I have an exam that I'll be taking in my information systems class. There's open book, open notes, open internet. So that'll be extremely easy, just as the last exam was also extremely easy. So, yeah, things school-wise have been going rather well. Uh, Pokemon Go guys, I've fallen behind a lot of my friends. Uh, most of my friends are level 12 or above. Right now I'm level 10. And my strongest Pokemon is probably uh, Pidgeot or Pidgeotto. I keep forgetting which one is stronger. Uh, but the highest evolution Pidgey, and it only has like a CP of like 400 something. So I'm really not up there yet in Pokemon Go, but I'm working on it. In regards to the Infernus Flame situation, he recently posted his last video in which he's saying that he's no longer going to continue his crime fighting and helping out his community um, for reasons that are completely understandable. I just want to say thank you, Infernus Flame, for what you've done for your community and what you've done for other crime fighters. We really appreciate all you've done to help, and I know that many people have been inspired by what you've done push them forward in their own crime fighting. In regards to me making crime fighting videos, the reason why I haven't made so many recently is because I'm currently in college. Uh, I'm in college right now. And I'm here so that I can learn how to do computer forensics and I hope to work for the FBI and find evidence on computer systems. It's not that I've stopped the pursuit to make the world a better place. It's more that now I'm, through my academics, working toward doing that better or in new ways that I couldn't before. So, in regards to crime fighting, what I do other than work towards getting my degree and certification so that I can eventually find evidence on computer systems and help solve crimes, is I work on Fiverr. I'll do the paranormal stuff in fiber that I talk about where I help people when it comes to magic and things like that. I also, for a while, I used to use Care2 a lot to donate and to help out. I haven't used Care2 as much as I used to, 
but I would like to start using that more. And then I don't go on patrols. I live on campus and I don't have a car. So I don't have a lot of ways to get around. Um, if I ever do see anything, I do report it. I know not too long ago I reported a drug deal that I saw while just sitting in a drive thru uh, Really, reporting crime isn't that difficult as long as you know what to look for and you're observant. So even though I'm not patrolling, I still have the observation skills that I've gained over time from crime fighting. And I do apply those skills to report crime. So if I do see crime, I will report it. But am I actively going out and patrolling? No. And I haven't patrolled in a while. I've mainly been busy with school, trying to make sure that I'm doing the best I can to pursue a proper education so that I can join the FBI and help fight crime in new ways. So yeah, thank you guys for checking out this check-in. I'm going to start doing mini vlog check-ins like this occasionally. And oh, I do have another update. So the All-Star Reviews. I haven't done one of those in a while. Uh, that is because I have the Superman guidebook now. So I stopped reading All-Star Comics and went to the Superman guidebook so that I can read through and learn more about Superman and his history. I may do a few Superman history videos, depending on if you guys want that. Uh, All-Star Reviews I thought was cool, but without other people and really having discussion, it really wasn't as cool as it could be. Um, if I do decide to do videos that are based around the Superman guidebook, then I would like to have multiple people like, come in and we discuss topics in the book rather than just me discuss topics in the book, if that makes sense. So I do want to get more content out to you guys while I work on my schoolwork and making sure that you guys get content and that I also complete all of my studies. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Thank you guys for checking in. This is Jet Black, logging out.
Well, it's a mystery. I like to ask because I'm yet a new It's the uh, Bacon Lovers Fish Burger. Yeah, thanks. With uh, fries and a uh, red velvet chicken. I'm hoping there's a cut off in the middle so I can make people look at me more if I want more than that. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, it's not like a bar. Yeah, no. I think I figured out how I should do it. Like, well, I'm open. Just hold center and then, like, move the 
the center of them for the clicking on every one that they finally talk. <laughs> so, um, it's only like seven minutes in. I was thinking either record for a full ten or just stop when things stop happening. Yeah. I, I, don't, I just missed Jonathan dancing. I don't have the same huge train as I did on the laptop. Oh, so we so I'm missing things. At least you are not burning out the Why would you put it on the table? Yeah, yeah. All these we would always yeah. make a way in our head. Already, like, remember when we were on Autumn and I, like, had it set up by you on another table? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, which table would you Exactly. Oh, okay. I actually know that guy. Yes. Oh, great. Good to see you, man. Uh, hey, good. At least that you're not vertically burning. Yeah, that would be That's so cardinal sin. By the way, uh, sorry for the last couple of vlog check-ins. I totally did do the vertical filming thing for my own face. Um, but that is lame and I don't like it. You're doing it like for just you, I feel like. Yeah. It's like a little weird to find someone like you. On your phone, on the YouTube app, yeah. it'll make it full screen. Mm -hmm. But on the computer, how it looks off the just yeah. I wonder like how different we would compare to like the oldest vlog with each of your first appearances. You probably look the most different. I look the same in all of my photos that I've ever taken since birth. So <laughs> you've just become like the baby Emma? Yeah. Well like hold on. Like I look like a baby. Uh, I look the same. I was a baby, I had blonde hair. And now I do not. You don't. I would look so like much earlier. <laughs> The only thing that changes about me is my hair cut. Well, oh, my hair cut doesn't change. No. I mean, I, I have like the same hair cut. Dude, growing up, that's all I changed my hair. I stand by you holding a picture of yourself. Yeah. But see, I don't look different. That's so meta. Yeah. A picture of a picture of my hair. Yeah. Oh. One of the pictures on like the slideshow had like Baby Hunter looking at a picture of Baby Hunter. Uh, should we talk about that on the vlog? Um, I, I'm glad that you brought it up um, because I have not yet. I actually haven't done anything for the vlog since oh, the day man. started. Yeah, um, Hannah has been talking about it. Yeah. So I invite you to you guys that you've been watching the vlog um, pretty, you know, religiously throughout the time. Um, our friend Hunter has passed away um, and we just came back from his visitation. Um, the funeral's tomorrow morning. Um, Hunter was unfortunately struck by lightning and some of his injuries on third night, so um, we have a very good stay with him. Um, does anyone have anything like, they want to say like on the blog about it? Um, I guess we can talk about like the stuff from Hunter. I remember, um, like, we had a lot of fun, um, with, uh, uh, Mario Maker. That was really fun. Oh, yeah. I remember. Is it so on the blog? Yeah. Well, oh, isn't it? No, at all. That's when they hit the period of doing pictures. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, how do we know that? Here goes that. I love that. It's very good. Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Viper Butterfly. Yeah, that's why it was like this sensitive. sensitive. Yeah. yeah. I felt weird about putting it on the vlog, but it's like, that's really a natural way to like transition into it. And I feel like that's probably the best way we were going to do it without straight up doing a video on that. I guess what I'm trying to describe is like, Oh. Uh -huh. 
The move was pretty fresh, though. Right, I'll give you that. Stay tuned. I get to I've never done it. I'm going to For more content. They, they, they. Hey guys, today I have an HTML lab in my information systems class. I didn't have to go to my communications class today or yesterday, so I just decided to come here early. Um, if you guys chill in lab 207 in the business administration building, that are lab 205, can't remember the exact, <clears throat> the exact number of this lab. Um, it's actually a great Pokestop. You'll have access to the computers here in the computer lab. Um, there's also a little computer terminal that the teachers use. You can connect your laptop. I have my laptop connected up right now, um, and I'm using the projector to watch Limitless on Netflix. I'm currently on episode three. So far, so good. Um, I also have this cool desktop background based on Pokemon Go. Um, I know there is a way for you to be able to see it clearly, and that's good enough. It's good enough for you to see Team Valor. Uh, you can't really see Team Instincts clearly, but that's fine. Uh, not many people are in Instinct. Uh, but, you know, to each his own. You know, I know, I have friends who are in Instinct. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, chillin', uh, watching Limitless, using a computer lab, uh, trying to get more Pokeballs. Finally level 12 on Pokemon Go, uh, which is pretty good. Yeah, uh, also, um, if you enjoy concept mapping, which is something that I enjoy doing, uh, there's a whiteboard here and so many expos. Many teachers actually keep their own expos, but this lab has a ton, which means you can openly use them and you can use the board here by watching the show there on the screen. And then you can do research in between on Google Scholar, hitting it up on the computer. Um, so this is a great place for you to brainstorm, get some ideas out, and multitask. Um, I've also started using Zebo, which is an app that allows you to make your own and test um, honest placebos, which are placebos that you take while well knowing that they are placebos. And you can track how well the placebo is working. You track how you feel before you take this placebo and then you also track how you're feeling during the placebo and it gives you facts on how effective your placebo is and how after certain increments of time the placebo has stronger effects than other implements and you can tell when it's starting to wear off so I'm going to experiment with Zebo more see what I can do with Zebo I've published many books that you can find on the Barnes and Noble's website. I have another book that I'm working on that's talking about thought forms and thought fields and possible connections between the two. So I'll keep you guys informed with my progress on that book. Um, I know that at the moment in this limitless episode that um, I'm slight paying attention. There's an A plot and a B plot, and I have. 100% knowledge of what's going on in the B plot, um, but I know that I'm incredibly behind on the A plot, so I will talk with you guys later. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more content. This is Jet Black, logging out. Hey guys, uh, doing a daily check-in. Uh, haven't done these at like D&D before. I don't normally have a camera that I can use at D&D for this. It was cool. Uh, so that purple guy in the back is me. Uh, cool. Uh, then you got finding these guys in this room. The, the dice are like skeleton cats. Um, oh, Cell just walked in.
Showing out with Hunter, Alec, really epic guy with the beard, really cool guy. Meet you. Really cool guy has been like teaching me how to play Card Against Humanity, <laughs> better to bet that. And Spencer. Now, what are you doing again? Ryan. Oh, uh, great to meet you, Ryan. Jairus. Great to meet you, Jairus. Okay, so starting over. Showing out with Hunter, Alec, Jairus, Ryan, Spencer. And Marcy, you know, she's chilling, so I'll give it that. So yeah, uh, we're playing some Cards Against Humanity. Um, just wanted to check in with you guys, show you how the day's going. They have Chromecast, by the way, and a big-ass TV. Amazing. Uh, oh, and this fruit salad and soda. On point. Digging it. So yeah, uh, this is Nick Benson signing out. Take it easy. Hey guys, um, so we finished our Cards Against Humanity game, or at least we stopped in the middle of it, and now we're hanging out at the one and only Waffle House, where of course we're playing What's New Pussycat. The only other option that we could have possibly picked sadly wasn't a death. Oh, I'm chilling here with Chance. Good to meet you again, Chance. Good to meet you too. Yep. Jonathan. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Cheers. Yeah. Ryan. Spencer. There we are. Okay. Hunter, you, you know you gotta do this. <laughs> and Shelby. You can make it. <laughs> so yeah, we're about to get our waffle on, so you guys stay tuned for more content.
guys, right now I'm chilling out with David. Uh, we're at the Monaco about to go see Suicide Squad. Uh, yep. He's playing Pokemon Go, about to catch this gold bat. Ooh! See? Nice. You got it. Yeah, but I still gotta catch it. Up. Oh. See? Oh. Yeah, see? Well, I mean, if you like... If I concentrate really hard. And... <laughs> right now he's feeding it a Raz. Oh, do they still do the thing where they have like a poster that says Suicide Squad on it? Where you can like stand in front of it? I don't know. I think they just have that. Oh, they have the screens. We might be able to like get a picture in front of the screen thing or whatever. But anyways, yeah, um, we're about to go see the movie. Do you want to do a video where like afterwards we talk about what we thought of it? Uh, that'd be cool. All right, cool. Start reviewing movies. That would be baller. Uh, what do you guys think? Post that in the comment section below and stay tuned for part two. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, we already saw Suicide Squad. Uh, right now, David's heading out. We're leaving the dorm. Yep. Ah, so. Oh, yeah, Mars. Oh, you want to hang out? I want to. I mean, yeah, like when I get back. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. See you then. Bye. Oh, so, Dave. Oh, wow, they don't have a door stop. Like, that just straight up hit the door. I mean, the wall. Anyways, uh, what do you think of Suicide Squad? Well, thank you. Overall, I think it's a good movie. It's not like Emmy gonna win awards. It's just like a kick-ass action movie. Like you shouldn't expect anything greater than that. Mm -hmm. But like to me, the Joker was all right. I mean, he was literally growling every time you like heard him say something like a bad Jeff Goldblum impression. Like. <laughs> It's all right. It's all all right. Anyways, um, who was your favorite character? Deadshot, of course. Oh yeah, there's like no other comparison or comparable person. <laughs> Diablo. Diablo was pretty good, but like, it was a Deadshot movie, and everyone else happened to be in it. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest here. Like, it's a Deadshot movie. We can, you can continue to believe. Di Diablo to me had that show. He could have done better. Yes, Spencer. Well, oh, uh, David's checking out. Yo, yeah, Nate. Good to see you. Uh, last name. Uh, first name, greatest. <laughs> Anyways. That's cool. I don't have anything super nice. But yeah, it was cool hanging out with you. Uh, glad you enjoyed Suicide Squad. I'll catch you later, David. I did that. Yep. It's my trademark. Anyways, good to see you, Nate. Uh, and good to see you guys. Stay tuned for more content.